Thank you, everybody. Um, so my name is Jonathan, and I'm here to talk to you a little today about the Autodesk community and how we support customers and unlock insights. Um, for those of you not familiar with me, my name is Jonathan. Um, I've been working in around the Autodesk industry for about 20 years in various different roles within the partner channel. And now I work in the community team within Autodesk. Um, there's my contact details. Reach out if you need to get me. A little bit about my career experience. Um, I'm an Autodesk actually a year this week, uh, but I had a 20 year sort of career prior to getting to that. So I worked in Kingspan, then I worked for a Belgian company called HSB CAD, which is a another Autodesk developer partner. And then I moved into the, the partner channel within Autodesk and working for Graytech, Zytech, Symmetry, and then finally found a way uh, eventually into Autodesk. Um, and I work within the community. Um, first of all, as an AutoCAD and Tech Admin Community Manager, and then we've broadened that out into the AEC industry. So um, a little bit about our design and make uh, report. If you're not aware, we've done a large report into the design and make industry with loads of insights. I'd all encourage you to just Google it, pop on, and you can download your copy and get all the insights around uh, what we see as the state of the design and make world um, that we're all connected and built into. So I guess for a lot of people here, you may not be aware of exactly about Autodesk community specifically. You're probably all aware of Autodesk as a software company and all the products that they do. But I want to take today and spread the community pixie dust around. We have a community of millions of users globally. Every image that you see here has been created by someone within the Autodesk community with Autodesk technology. Basically the end users, whether they're in Revit, 3DS, Max, they're all images that have been created by individual people across the the, the world. So what we want to do with community, and this is, I wanted to put up our charter to sort of explain what we want to try and do. And it's, we want to become the de facto design and make community for our audiences worldwide by connecting them to each other. So we provide a platform to connect through listening, engaging and empowering all these people that are using our wonderful technology across the world. Some sort of key things about community and where we sort of sit within the, in the world. So it's, it's basically anyone working, dabbling, curious about any of the industries that Autodesk serve. So Autodesk have three main industries. So AEC, obviously you're very, very familiar with. We also have design and manufacturing and media and entertainment. So we sort of sit across a whole breadth of users and people worldwide. And we engage them in multiple languages. The community is supported in 13 languages now. So not just English, we've got all various different regions where there are people like me, but in, 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 in language-specific areas around the world. And we also want to take trust and transparency, and we want to be consistent and show empathy around our community to get it to thrive. So why industries? So a little bit that we want to help um, our industries connect with each other through a combination of, I guess, Autodesk listening. We maybe have been accused in the past where Autodesk doesn't always listen to its customers. We actively go out as community and we sit down. And the reason I come to events like this and talk to people is just to listen, to get an understanding of what you really feel, gauge that sentiment and properly connect. And we want to listen and respond. So when we hear things, we don't just leave it. That all gets reported back up and it starts to control and get that monitor critical segment. When things go bad, which invariably they sometimes do within Autodesk, when a product release may come out, we listen, we engage, and we connect. And we also have various different programs within community. So various, various different advocacy programs. We've got content creator programs where we, we actually try to nurture people to create amazing content, like the pictures that you've seen. And we've got a thing called personas where we connect our cohorts, where we connect with various different people throughout the industry. And we have three main reasons why we exist as a community. One is content. We have millions of users creating amazing things around the world, and we encourage that for them to create and amplify their content. The big thing that we get from all of this is the insights. So when somebody says Autodesk is not great, that gets amplified and we can report that back. So we can actually get the real world sentiment, of what people are really feeling about products, about updates, about Autodesk, and it's also trying to build that connection 
Autodesk, I guess, has in the past been seen as being a big corporate company. But there's 12,000 actual people working in it, and they're real people, and we want to connect and humanise and make sure that we're not just seen as the big brand that's out there. And from a community perspective, we deliver lots of things. We deliver audience cohorts to connect, to inform, and to validate. We have a content creator program where we amplify and launch, and this is where we work with people that create content. We have an expert elite program. We've got one in the room in Carl that is an, is an Autodesk expert elite, which is our advocacy program. We're dedicated to listening and responding. And obviously, a lot of this gives us early detection and response. So as soon as something goes wrong with an update, like we had with Revit a couple of months ago, you can bet within a minute it will be on community. Somebody will be saying, this is broke, please fix it, and then it amplifies. So we can respond really, really quickly. And I sort of want to throw this out to who is the community? Does anyone want to guess how many million visits we get on community a year? Anyone want to shout? More. So this gives you the size of the Autodesk community. So we have actually 50 million visits onto the community site as a whole. We have 24 million visitors. And what that means is that somebody is coming and doing and interacting on the community, whether that be commenting, liking, sharing, contributing. And then if you take active members, we've got three million of them constantly within the community. And I want to talk a little bit about how we start to infer this and start to use them sort of metrics and numbers. So within my team, it's not just about me sitting online and reading forums and content we look and we drill deep into insights. We've got a big thing that we work on, which is called an insight calendar, where we actually work with trends that are happening in the industry. We look at different things that are happening. You take like the recent future of AEC software specification that was published. We look, we infer, we go through, and then we look at the data. So we've got, if we have 50 million visitors, we've got 50 million data points where we could start to look who they are, what they are, what products they use, how they want to use them, what they want to do. And then a big thing is sentiment. So when people are angry, we can spot that straight away. When people are negative, when people are positive. And we've got sentiment tools and AI tools which allow us to, to drill down into that information to really start to infer what our marketing teams are doing, what our sales teams are doing, because we've got that volume and the metric of information associated with that. So how we go about it is we've various different programs and platforms. So we can do things like interviews, we can do things like surveys, we do lots of social listening, so we watch all the social platforms and see what people are saying and what, how they're happy, not happy, we look at set of sentiment, anyone that's within the Autodesk environment has an Autodesk account, so we can see the profile, we can see who you are and we can start to infer what you want to do, what you want to see and we drill that back down into content, and then attributes and then we get into the nitty gritty of what persona you're in, what audience you're in. And we can take all that and start to build a better picture with all this information of where Autodesk needs to go and where we want, to, where what we want to create. And we have a thing called Inferred Insights, where we look at the quantitative analysis using the sentiment. We uncover the wins, we uncover the disruptors, and we look at all this type of information where we look at the what, the why, and the how. Looking at all the, the content I've just mentioned, and that starts to uncover opportunities. So it starts to uncover where Autodesk need to go, where we have gaps, where products need to be better, where products need to change. So we can uncover all of this stuff and we can help drive the analysis and it can help drive Autodesk in the right direction to give people what they want. And then obviously we have explicit insights where we can actually just go and just talk to people using interviews, using surveys. By having me at this event, I chat to lots of people throughout the day and I just gain that explicit insight of just, how are you feeling about Autodesk? How are you feeling about your industry? What's good? What's bad? Where are you going? Where's your workflow challenges? And it just discovers what we can do for improvement, what we need to understand. We need to listen and understand a little bit more, and then we can bring the answers. So a big thing about communities, if you ask a question, you will have an answer in, on an average time of three minutes because we've got that many users. It might not be the answer you want, but you will get an answer to your question. So that's the, the, the sort of power and the, the, the explicit insights 
that we can do. And basically to finish, what you can do is, it's really, really simple to connect with community. You simply just go to autodesk.com forward slash community. You can scan the QR code. You can just get involved whether you're just consuming content, whether you're contributing content through forums, blogs, events. As I said, the Expert Elite Advocacy Program. If you're a content creator and you're on TikTok or YouTube or you just do stuff on LinkedIn, talk to us because we can help amplify that message. We can help elevate you up as a content creator, get involved in various different user groups. There's loads of Revit stuff, Dynamo stuff. We help and promote and want to just amplify everything that our users are doing. Thank you very much.